Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to continue the um, trend I've been doing with miniatures uh, because I have some Christmas presents I need to make and I don't have very much time. I rather like to procrastinate and I don't want to procrastinate any longer than I have to because I don't actually know how long this process is going to take. I'm going to be making dice towers. I have a couple friends who play D&D. My friend has commissioned me to make kind of a Wild West Old West saloon um, and I was like okay that would be a really cool addition to surprise him with and then I thought about my other friends and realized they may feel left out and I really like making stuff and I think it'd be really cool to make dice towers that reflect um, kind of the households that play d and I decided I'm going to film making the first one that I was inspired by. I wanted to make him a water tower dice tower. The interior of the tower is where I'm gonna have either two or three platforms that cause the initial tumble. So the top's gonna be a hole that is in there because something flew into it during a tornado. So you're gonna drop the dice down the top. The two platforms are gonna bounce the dice from one to the other and the dice is gonna tumble through the stilts. There's also gonna be a puddle at the bottom with you know, a couple rocks, and that's gonna cause the final tumble and direct the dice out the bottom. I've already gotten a lot of this glued on. Um, I didn't realize I had gotten that far, but it's it was so methodical. Um, but, and I'm not sure at what point my camera died and at what point um, my lights died. So, I'm just gonna keep going. So I have the water tower all fleshed out and I made the supports and I needed to make sure that none of these supports would impede the die coming out the bottom. But I've gotten it to a point where I can just drop a dice down there and nothing impedes it. My next 
task is to start building out the base. I've already kind of marked out where the feet are going to go. Um, so our next step is to just start carving the foam. Yeah. I have the base all kind of constructed and um, it's really rough. So just paper mache over top of everything, kind of bind it all together, smooth it out and cover up all of the raw foam. So, so we have our base and it's ready to get paint on it. It is essentially just styrofoam kind of stacked and glued on top of each other, cut up and glued back. I don't know. We all want, we all were there. have the roof and the opening where you know the shingles have been blown away somehow I've also tried to distress the roof a little bit more and more of the distressing will happen during the painting process and then obviously we have our tower so I guess on to painting <laughs> The first thing I'm gonna do is just mix up a batch of rock paint and cover our base really quick. Uh, that'll just help smooth out any of the little wrinkles that are happening um, and give it more of a rock effect. It's kind of like using lime wash. When you use lime wash and you paint a wall with the first coat, you do a lot thinner of a coat because you're creating a surface for the rest of the paint to adhere to. So it's a very similar concept. Um, just baking soda and acrylic paint. kind of set this one aside for a couple days um, just because I kind of wasn't sure how I wanted to finish it. Um, I'm still not quite sure, but I've also come to realize that I don't need to know. Just made three others and 
I didn't know what I was doing with any of them. And I just trusted the process and trusted my own creativity. And I mean, come on. And you know, just see what I could do. guys so much for making it to the end of the video um, I want to let you guys know that everyone received their dice towers and they absolutely love them and if you like what you saw please like comment or subscribe and I'll see you in the next one